why I do what I do. Uh, I'm extremely passionate about this particular style of art. I grew up on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in the district of Medicine Root, which is, uh, many people know that as uh, Kyle, Kyle, South Dakota. The spectrum of color is like complete opposite of what you would normally see in traditional style ledger pieces, you know, done by other artists. It takes me uh, to many places. We're located here in the central part of the Black Hills, Haha ha, Sapa. My name is Quentin Maldonado. Uh, my Lakota name is Chokata Aupi, and that uh, means bring him up front. It was a, a Lakota name given to me by my, my great-grandfather. I have the honor of carrying his Lakota name. But uh, in doing so, um, I do uh, Lakota ledger art, you know, which is a reflection of uh, historical times. You know, um, it's a reflection of uh, history. You know, and in, in doing so, um, I took it upon myself to keep this particular uh, style of artwork alive. This is just my first day here. You know, I was uh, given this opportunity to, to share my artwork. So and in doing so, um, I've been asking various people, you know, the, the purpose of this gathering, you know, uh, well, for one, it's to, to create unity among people, non-Indian or Indian people alike. You know, it's a gathering for everybody. The music uh, uh, is what attracted me. You know, I like live music. This here is a rendering of a KXL pipeline piece. It's kind of like to uh, show the post biohazardous effect of uh, the community, the people, the land, the air, and the water. And then you'll see the speckles of you know the the oil or the you know that would uh, be protruding through our land. But there again, it's uh, the unity involved in preventing that you know ultimately. And so that's my my rendering. How far will we go to protect our environment? It's up to the people, you know, they're against like power of the people, the unity surrounding that event. And there again, the word unity. Um, so you'll see here uh, the outline of the state of South Dakota and uh, in the background, the four directional colors, which are traditional to all nine federally recognized tribes in South Dakota. My mentor is Mr. Donald Montenlow, and he's a world renowned ledger master artist. I've been doing ledger art for approximately 14 years. When there isn't any more uh, ledger paper or ledger books, um, you know, one day the, the art form itself will, will die out, you know, will become extinct. What's really unique about my style is I try to emphasize fatherhood, you know, whereas in our modern time, uh, a lot of father figures um, are, are in present in, in their children's lives, you know, for whatever reason. But um, this is actually an interesting piece done for a fatherhood program on the Pioneer Jinnan Reservation. The importance of family, the creation of life, being responsible for bringing life into this world, you know, and then, uh, as a father myself, you know, that's kind of like a subconscious reflection of my own thoughts. Here again, you'll see a, a family piece. You know, it's a, a mother and the father, you know, with their three children. You know, so I always often think uh, highly of uh, the importance of family. Mine is right. You know, exuberant, a reflection of the people. You know, I have the opportunity to utilize colors, say, our ancestors didn't have. You know, that's why a lot of the traditional style ledger art was earth tonish, made from the elements. This is our way to to fight back, to to gain knowledge, and to educate ourselves, to move forward. You know, with that knowledge. But you'll see here the various steps. You know, a female student, a male student, and then thereafter they graduate. And then thereafter, they're celebrating their graduation, you see, and honoring um, and, and receiving this eagle feather, you know, because they uh, were able to achieve that merit, you know, in their life. Oftentimes, you'll see war-torn images of uh, battle and, um, <clears throat> you know, things of that nature. You know, mine are kind of like more, um, you know, love and harmony in some instances. Uh, a union, uh, and there again, it's on a predated page. It's dated 1895. The women are actually the leaders, you know, in our modern time, givers of life. Women are sacred, you know, sacred. 